Fair. The last time I finished recording, I think it was the Shams and me, so yeah. All right. You're, you're facing down there. No one's going to see me down there. You go. That's fair. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Relax, bro. All right. So in this video, we're going to put it together step by step. I'm talking like... Don't fuck up. So, yeah, guys. Yesterday, I realized I was looking through some stuff, and I found the main culprit of the problem from when it blew up. And I didn't notice it until I looked at a photo and I was talking to a buddy of mine. This bearing, when you install it, obviously has lettering on top. So when it's installed, the case is meant to push down on it and it stays solid. I noticed on one of the photos I had that I took. Hold on, hold on. Oh, copyright. I noticed on one of the photos that I had took in. I don't know how. I managed to do that. Obviously, I know how, but like, I didn't catch it. I installed the bearing upside down. Yeah, what a rookie mistake, huh? Almost cost me a transmission. It did cost. Well, kind of did it cost me a transmission, but um, yeah. So luckily, nothing really got damaged because once I felt it, I didn't keep driving it. Just I drove it here, because basically, if you guys see, the bearing has some play. This is a brand new bearing, but. On the back side, it's a lot thinner and it has a more of an opening. The front side is a closed case. So basically, when the transmission case closes on top of it, it's meant to push down. I'm considering it like a pressurized bearing. So like it actually rolls smoother and like complete once it's pushed down. If you install it like this, the cup wants to come out. You can see some movement in there. So yeah, I had noticed that and uh, right away... My head when I closed the case, it probably shot down this cup. That cup shot down the rest of the spacer, and yeah, so it could have been a shimming problem, could have not. I don't know, but at least I noticed that, so I'm leaning more towards that was my problem. But, anyways, um, everything else was pretty much good then, so yeah, let's just make sure you put the bearing right in this fucking install. So, we're gonna go step by step, gear by gear, synchro by synchro. And bullet transmission. First off, we have this bearing. It's a needle bearing. And then two, also, you don't want to install these parts dry because when you first turn on the car, you want to get so much lubrication to these things. So what I'm doing is make sure they're dry. And they're good. Put it in the casing. Make sure your main shaft is clean of debris, dirt. You don't want nothing getting on this. I'm putting it right here just to build it. Slap that bearing in there. Get yourself a little squirter of oil. I just have regular motor oil on this just for the meantime. It was not super thick. There you go. And just apply the oil. Okay. Oh, that's good. Get the next one. This is uh, third gear. Because the counter shaft has first and second. So from there, that's where you're lubricated, so just clean this up. This gear goes downward, like such. Throw a little more oil in there. Get that close up, babe, check this out. You don't want a crazy amount, just enough for the bearing not to, like I said, run dry. But you can see right there, pretty lubricated. Okay. Next, you want your synchro. Nice and clean. Don't forget the little rings that go in here. If you do not have these in there, you're, you will have pop out. Just like that. Nice and easy. And there again, your synchro hub and synchro sleeve. This one's important because it does go a certain direction. So if you guys can notice right here, there's a notch. Let me just take it off so you can see if it wants to come out. There you go. There's a little notch right here like that. This open end goes facing downward and the closed end goes facing upward like that. Because if not, then like I said on the other video, the spacer won't sit right. And then once you take this off, some people don't know how to do it. There's two teeth bigger on the synchro sleeve that line up. But these two grooves are a little bit longer. Goes this way. And another way you can tell too is, where's it at? A little slot right there, a little cutaway. That goes in that. So, boom, just like that. 
from there. We line these gaps up, but the grooves are the synchro. Put that right in there. Mm -hmm. Bone process, huh? Very fine. Can I put some oil? Yes, hold on. Just like that, should sit in there. Put some oil on the splines. Here? Okay. Yeah, put it over here. Okay, good. All right, you want, like I said, because this is just dry startup. Okay, next things up. Just call it right here. Still has some oil on it, so it should be good. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. This one's you good need oil. <laughs> you need oil. Oh, I'll put the needle bearing. Okay, mm -hmm. this is fourth gear. It's first, second, third, fourth. Step is one. Get your needle bearing. Oh, I want to put this in first. Yeah, put some in there. Needle bearing in there. Boom. And then you get this collar. And like I said, this is the one that's like a dead giveaway. And all these parts just slide on smooth. They should not have any fight when you're throwing them on. So the one way I knew I had it wrong last time was, you see this hole right there and that one right there? Those have to line up perfect. So like for example, look right there. I don't know if you can see it that good, but that hole right here lines up with that one, like dead on center. So that's how I know everything from the bottom down is good. Once again, another needle bearing. For first, second. Hit the cinematics, guys. That was one, cinematics. Two, three, four. Hey, it doesn't want to turn on. It's fine. This is, I believe, fifth gear. Fifth gear synchro. Okay. All right, and then same thing with this one. These sleeves go a certain direction. If you notice, this one's a lot flatter. This one has a more of a taper to it. This one doesn't really have no notch to it, so that's when your power can get tricky, but same thing with the teeth design. You can see this one has a lot fatter indents going downward, so you know what you're going to. Put some oil right here where there will be friction. Because these two mating surfaces touch right there, right here, and right here. And from there, match up the grooves. in from there you have this one this gear this is the one that broke on mine so had a, Fuck this shit up. Had a replacement got that one in there some oil some extra oil. oil extra oil hey the washer goes on that part you're supposed to put it in the inside oh my bad G. <laughs> I got you both ways and then from the inside there's another needle bearing that goes in there another collar Extra secure. Okay, so then from there, you and get then your... you don't fuck up with this bearing. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> you're missing a piece. Get your good spacer, the little alignment one, the one in the casing. Line the teeth up right here with these little notches. Can't mess that up. Cause if not, it'll be too off center, and the bearing won't sit right. See? So you just line that up right there. And if you all is good, up, and then if all is good, I don't make the same mistake again. You see the letters. If not, you'll see a thicker part of the casing. When you try to push it down, it feels solid. If you do it upside down, it just, you can see, it wants to pop out. You do it like this, So solid, what way should it be facing? With the letters up. Okay. I got, just slide right on. Doesn't slide right on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And you're good. If you, you see any, some oil? If, if you see Just any, put some oil. Yeah, you can put oil on it. Don't fuck this shit up, guys. Babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so once all that's done, you get your counter shaft. If you did any replacing with that one, whatever you did to it, get your main shaft. 
and you will tie them up together with the rope like so see that boom boom all the gears and then this is the most difficult part about when you're tearing it apart and putting it back together is doing all this at once because it's kind of a little a little tricky but if you have some patience <laughs> you got some um it can be done do the shift works okay wipe all these down you don't want a little debris on nothing because once it's sealed up whatever's in there staying in there okay And the one way you can tell if you have the shift works correct, smallest one goes on the counter shaft, medium one goes on the, the Small, middle. Small, medium, large. No, but then not even that, but then look. If you look right here on the grooves where the shift selector goes at, this one's straight towards the middle, off center to the right, off center to the left. So they will line up just like that. If you mess that up, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. Now it won't even like it won't even go into the casing. All right, cool. So now this is the part where you really try your hardest. So you're gonna have to get all the forks and align them right here, and then don't forget. Oh god, where'd it go? Oh, I almost got scared. Two shims. I think I saw in the previous video, but one's like tapered downward. The tape taperedness goes towards the bearing. Another one on top. You can put it on the main shaft, but it's probably gonna fall out. So yeah, you want to have your diff in before you do this, because if not, you're going to take all that back up. So yeah, would not recommend that. Okay, so here we Put go. Put this hole in. Oh, it's really heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like this is what I'm talking about though. You guys can see it's not, no, not a perfect world. Yeah, look. See how these are in here? Look, this one came oh, out. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so this, this is the color. Yeah, this is where the well synchro sleeve, but I'm just calling it that. But oh, boys. yeah, see, so that one popped out because it had to be all in here, the little slots, plus enter in here at the same exact time. So Why don't you just pretty play? tricky. So I'll just try it again. Here we go. Ready? Pop back up again. Ah, oh, this is not easy. Shake yourself. I just might. Ah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Mission success. He didn't mean to say take everything out. He just said pick it up. Put it in there. Well, yeah, yeah. Right but... No, no, they didn't. I didn't know. Okay, so yeah. There you are. They're all in their spots. Bang, bang, bang. And like I said, you know they're good when they all line right here. Make sure everything goes into gear correctly. Boom. That one did earlier. And this one should still go in. Bang, bang, all right, so now when you install everything else, you want to put it in neutral. Neutral would be just having all the single showing, and let's go to the rest now. No hurry, put it in, put it in, put it in. Whoa, getting too personal there. All right. So next up is getting your shift selector. I don't know if the proper term is that, but I'm calling it a shift selector because it selects your gear you're shifting to. So there's three bolts, one, two, three. Line it up. I don't like the single. This part right here will go into this groove, and this part right here goes into that groove. It's a little tricky because then you have to make sure that this part moves up and down is what selects the gear you're in whenever it moves like that so yeah it's a little puzzle but and then you also want to make sure that this pin that sits in the center of the shaft goes all the way down in there because sometimes you can make it loose and just 
Yeah, it will give a lot of headache. Okay. You going? Got it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I was able to get it in. Uh, it turns out that this little shift selector was pushed forward, so it kept making it like not budging. So then I just pulled it out. Well, not pulled it out, but like shifted it in neutral. This had to be in neutral, and it slipped right in. And then you gotta be careful with this one though, because it has three bolts, but one's different. So it has two long ones, for example, like something like this, and then a gold one that goes right in here. Yeah, so if you put those, these two black ones, like mix match those, that won't hurt. But if you put this one right here, and now they, these two spots, these, they, either of the black ones, it, they bought them out too early and you can cause cracks or strips if you don't put them in the correct spot. Not to press your bubble or anything? What? But what transmission is this? Huh? What transmission is this? This is a B16 transmission, but this rebuild or installation will work with any B series hydro transmission. I say hydro because cable is almost identical, but the V10 springs are on the inside. Now we'll explain what those detail strings are once you get to that point. Did you tell them what transmission you had before? B16. Okay. Okay. Just, you know, people are ding right. dogs. Anyways. Okay, so yeah, install the shift selector right there. Everything looks good. And then on this side, you can see I put the reverse gear over. I confuse. So the shaft points downward. So you want to line that up. That way it stays locked because this threaded part. It takes a bolt through the outside of the casing. So then from there when you go reverse it, that's a, that's a little noise you hear when you go in reverse. That's that. Ooh, I thought it was like something popping. Yeah, I don't know, through. maybe in my transition something's popping. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. <laughs> last thing we got to do is the little arm mechanism. What the f What, you broke this shit? Son of a bitch, what happened? Bro, what the Oh, fuck, man. I, like I got the best luck in the world. You see that little ball bearing thing? This goes inside the shift selector for the reverse arm. I just went a little too much. And I fell right out. Fell right out. Oh my god. That goes in there. Okay. Look, just, just, that's all this. <laughs> Let's just stay stuck in there. Oh, okay. Let's put this back now. So there's two bolts that go for this. You line that up. Make sure you don't forget to put this on the reverse gear, because if not, or idler gear, because if not, guess what you won't have? It'll take a while to guess. Reverse. Race mode? You won't have race mode. Don't use the impact. No. Yes, because you can strip this very easily or snap the bolts. I think the torque truck is like seven inch pounds, but just give it a nice little oomph with your ratchet. Nothing crazy. You put oil on all these shits and then you put the magnet in. Yeah, don't forget the magnet. I'm almost fucking doing it now. But you want to put your legs out. This gets all the metal when you grind your fucking gears because you don't have to drive stick. Damn, that happens yeah. to me. <laughs> Shit, I must dead myself. But let's spread them out a decent amount. It's kind of a little difficult, kind of not. Um, Alright, we're gonna play a sealant, but before we do, there's one thing that matters a lot. So, in this inner casing, I don't know if I've explained it, but see this notch right here? That's what lines up home wall right here. If that is not lined up with that, you can go, I believe, all day. And it's not gonna close, or something kind of shock is gonna happen, or I don't know. But if you guys wanna find out, go ahead and do it. But I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, basically, you just line it straight. These two bolt holes right here. These, right here look. These two bolt holes line those straight, like right in the middle of those. Because you look in the casing in here, that line right there goes in between these two bolts right here. Just like that, like right about in the middle. So. I'll right here. So, this is a well. Just get the grease this whole up. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Let's see what's in here. Alright, so like I said. Hey, you're kind of in my way, bro. Back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I'm wrong. <laughs> fuck. Nah, just kidding. Align the spacer straight up. 
Alright, get your clay seat, little casing, make sure everything's clean. Alright. Get your phone case, make sure it's clean. Word of advice, if it doesn't want to go on, don't force it on. I line up your dial pins, show those, look the little dial pins on there. Here's a prime example of it is not going to go on, don't force it on. Something's probably not on, right? No. Oh, look good. Here we're recording. Hey, what's up? Okay, so that took a lot of persuasion, but I got the case on. It took me a while, a very long time. But my problem was that every time I put the case on, since I don't have needle bearings, I have the actual like roller bearing type. Every time I put the case on, it would like get wedged on this thing. So I kept thinking nothing was aligned in here. But I just had to keep pushing this upward so this can like slide in. And then eventually it just fell in place. So it might take a little bit of persuasion. But yeah, we got it in there. And then just so you know, everything works functionally. That's neutral right there. So then we'll do tilting it to the right and forward is first gear. So that's boom. Hold on, I can't do it like this. On this side. So tilting it to the left and forward is first. And then back second. If I'm not wrong. And then third is straight. Fourth is all the way back. From there, go back to neutral, check your neutral, then reverse. It's gonna be to the right back. That's fifth. And to the right forward will be reverse. And reverse. Okay. So now we got the bolts. And impact them with 5,000 nuggets. Nah, fuck shit, do not use the impact. And I'm gonna just feed them in with the impact. So I get the ceiling, kind of set it in. And then I'll throw all the detent springs on. You wanna... Are you gonna play with some balls? Yes. <laughs> these are the detent spring little check balls. There, do not lose these. Sure. If you lose them, you die. T won't even shift right. Nah, you probably will, but. Well and then I recommend these are a hybrid racing detent springs. They're a little bit longer than your stock one. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to show big pretty Oh, come on. They're a little bit longer, so they add a lot more um, uh, tension on the shift work, so it makes it for a notchier feel. Best 20 bucks I've ever spent in my life. That's a lie. I'm not even joking. You're Just kidding. Alright, now the last part is gonna be for. Where is it at? Non existent. I know I'm more organized than this. No, you're not. <laughs> Bro, where the fuck did it go? What are you looking for? It's a big ass bolt that goes on top of the transmission. It's a big ass Allen key bolt. Oh my god. You got the clip. Cut the, the clip. clip. Cut the but yeah, let's get this right here. Yeah. Half inch or three eighths dry, whatever you guys is. I don't want this thing ever causing a leak on me. So you don't have to if you don't want to, but I am going to. But a slight amount of permatex. I wish I had a Honda Bond, but you know, we don't all don't have access to that kind of stuff. So we do what we got. Give it a little snug. Don't overdo it though, because you can strip it. Okay, and just like that, 
Transmission's back to good. Like I said, don't forget your detent springs. Shift the gears, make sure they're good. All right now it's all tanged up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this thing is dirty, dude. You got it? Drop it. Go for it. Oh. Right. No rear main fuel leak. Oh. I would change it, but I put a new one in when I put the motor in. That was like. 500 miles ago. Nah, like probably like a thousand miles ago. The only thing we're gonna put in or take out is that. I don't need any more. You can feel it, huh? This thing's thin. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Where's the fresh one at? Where? Alright, uh, let's compare. The AutoZone special? AutoZone no seal? $65, can't complain. Clutch max one was like 80. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much more like actual, oh my God, wow. You can see it, right? Or am I just tripping? No, we're gonna throw, um, we're gonna throw braking on around. Clean off the oil, but. New flywheel teeth, a ring gear teeth, look at that. Look at that, compared to this. Thin. We're gonna take off that pilot bearing, put it on that one, work the flywheel down, put the fresh plate, put the transmission back in. Go for it. Next one. Next one's this one right here. When your girl wants to do your torque fix. Hey bro, don't 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 fuck my shit up, bro. Don't fuck your shit up, bro. Don't fuck my shit up, bro. Alright, what's the next one? Okay, she did one, two, three, four, five right here. Alright, last one. Here we go. Go for it. <sighs> okay, guys. Put the new fly on. I think it looks schmexy. All the torque specs for the first time. Very exercise. <laughs> yeah, my abs are growing in already. <laughs> Alright, and we put the clutch and pressure plate. Those I didn't get new, like I said, because they were already good. Prior to when I take them off, you will need a clutch alignment tool. I've had this from other clutch jobs. I kept it. It makes this easier. There's other ways of doing it, but yeah. So now, guess what we get to do? Guess what we get to do? Put the transmission in. Finally. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna do it some getaway, but we gonna get it. Let's get you in, boy. So from there, okay, to there. Fuck you! <laughs> that took forever. It took us like almost an hour and a half. There was not, but I think the dial pins on one of the, I think this side or this side or both sides, they're like all twerk. I didn't check them, and it was just. It was just being a pain to install, but... <sighs> we got it, huh, babe? Motor mount's on. It's bolted. Jack's off. We're good to go, but... Yeah, that was a... That was a mish. I think I'm gonna continue this video. That was always the next one. So, or should I do another video driving it? Yeah, huh? Do we do separate videos? Alright, well, in that case... I'm probably gonna end it right here then, because I'm tired. My hands are full of grease. Well, it doesn't even look like it on camera. But we black as fuck at a bit. But yeah, that's it in there for that. I hope you guys learned how to at least put together your main shaft transmission. Transmission. <laughs> main shaft synchros and everything together. But hope this was good. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna stop the yapping. I'm tired. And that's gonna cut it for today. Any words? Any words, babe? Fuck like transmission. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well if you guys like 
the video, go ahead and give it a like. I'm out. Peace out.